All right, hey guys, Gemini. So I'm doing your guys' read. I got ashes everywhere, so it looks a little messy. Um, I'm doing the reconciliation read. So this is um, under the intention that you want to reconcile with a person of the past. All right. So if you do not want to reconcile with somebody from your past, this is not going to be your read. Turn back. Turn away. I'll be posting singles reads here in a couple of days, hopefully. Um, I'm waiting on a new deck to arrive, and I was kind of looking forward to using that on the singles. So anyway, you're going to know this is your read by what caused the separation and your current energy. So if you guys don't resonate with that, check your moon rising and Venus placements, all right? Um, if you're new, welcome. I hope you guys will stick around with me. Subscribe. I'm just loads and loads of fun. So for Gemini, what caused the separation? Somebody's being blinded to this connection. Somebody is... Um, <sighs> I'm going to, I'm, I'm kind of pinning everything on the person that you're dealing with, Gemini. And if that's wrong, it's fine. Uh, switch the roles as a reverse if you're a cross watcher. All right. But what caused the separation is somebody's being blind or bound to something else for right now. Okay. Um, I do feel like this energy right here is you guys um, are placing each other above the rest because you guys do feel like it's a soulmate connection. All right, and I feel like that's the energy you both are in. Let me just clarify this Eight of Swords. What is, what's going on here with the Eight of Swords? We have the Moon card, so some secrets, miscommunication, what caused the separation. It could be distance too, maybe somebody not having enough faith in the universe. Yeah, that this is going to come together. I almost feel like you guys could be at a distance and it's not just happening fast enough. All right. And I feel like some energy is pulled back. Um, I apologize if you hear background noise. My son is blowing up balloons. Um, but I feel to clarify this eight of swords, it's almost like somebody's just kind of stuck in their thoughts. Like, is this going to happen or not? And it could be because we are impatient when it comes to um, the divine timing of things. Okay. I feel like it's coming out more on your persons and then you. So if you don't resonate with that um, distance, uh, miscommunication, kind of, I feel like there's a lot of lack here, okay? And the lack is coming from not trusting in the universe. And that, and you know, Gemini, it could be you that's feeling that way. And you could be pulling your energy back because um, you're just, it's like it's not coming. All right. Is there anything else in reference to what caused the separation? What caused the drawback? What caused the split? Other than, I, I feel like you guys are just, you, you know. You know. No, you know. You guys are here. You know. All right. Um, I, I don't know what else to say. Honestly, I, I have no other words, but distance and miscommunication. I feel like somebody's not trusting in the universe and it could be your person and they could just be pulling back because maybe um, it's a financial thing. Maybe there's something I, I do feel like distance is a huge factor um, right here. All right. And this might be um, a reunion um, just in regards to um communication especially if we're dealing with people that live um you know continents apart all right but what is gemini's current energy this is going to be pretty specific you guys so if you don't resonate with that make sure you check your other placements gemini i feel like your person pulled back their energy the reason why i'm saying that is because the seven of swords comes out as the um stolen heart card this is somebody that's taken their energy away from you and you're wondering why you don't want it to be over with that's for sure um you want to move forward but i feel like you're in this energy of thinking that it might be over all right so um let's see what you've been focused on since the split even though i mean i feel like this is like I feel like this has only been a couple of days. I feel like you're probably still pained by this um, separation. What have you been focused on? You're focusing on incoming communication. This is this has got to be the most. Uh, 
I'm just going to say down to earth read. I'll say it like that. I don't want to say 3D, but you, you are very much centered or focused on what the here and the now. Okay. You are, you're focused on the here and the now. Um, you're focused on the pause. Um, you're focused on the person that's on your mind. Are they coming back? All right. I feel like you're waiting for fate to step in. You're waiting for justice to come in. You're waiting to hear from this person. You are waiting for a communication and this is going to be the only read out of all of them that I've done so far that has been in the here and now. You are completely focused on what's happening right now, what's happening next. And I feel like it's because this split is, is um, extremely new. Okay. I feel like you, you've gotten in an argument or you've had miscommunication with somebody that is um, at a clear distance from you and you um, just, you're not knowing how to handle that right now. And you're just like, you guys are probably button heads and long distance is hard. I've been in my own long distance relationship and it's, it's pretty freaking hard, man. So how do you feel about this person? Yeah. You feel like they did you wrong. You can see the ultimate fulfillment with this person. You can see happily ever after for sure. The house, the car, the boat, you can see everything with this person. Um, and you guys inspire each other. This is passion driven. Like I would do anything for you. All right. Um, but with the devil card, I feel like this person is clouding your thoughts in that devil energy. Um, I, 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 I feel like you're looking at them like we were so good. Now what happened? What changed? Why are you being like this? All right. How do they feel about you? How does this person feel about Gemini? Oh, they're calling it in too. Yeah, they're calling it in. All right. Look at the bottom of the deck. We have the Ace of Pentacles, which is in reference to um, strong commitments coming in. And they want to call this back. Okay. For the short pause you guys have had, I'm just going to say you guys are already calling it back in. How does this person feel about you? They do. It's like this person does want to travel. They do. They would move, I feel like, to be with you if that's the case. And I, um, now that I'm saying that, that could be one of the things that you guys have fussed about. But it's going to get called back in. So, Jim and I, like, if you have kids um, in the state or the country or whatever that you're in, um, and, and that's important, you're not going to leave your kids to go be with somebody right now. Okay, um, this person's I feel is willing to come to you. All right. Um, I, I just feel like they're they're willing to do they're willing to go the distance for you. And that could have been something that you guys may have drawn apart from. All right, but this person's had a self a period of self reflection and they're like, I do want Gemini. So what what's gonna be happening as you guys come back into contact? I'm not gonna say reunion in that um I'm not going to say reunion in the physical because I, I seriously don't feel like it's it's happening in the physical right now. This is going to be something that takes some time and money and um, planning. All right. But you're coming out of the heartbreak period. OK, so you're not going to feel a sadness when this starts to come to fruition. You're you're just you're going to start seeing that this person's going to reach out. I feel for whoever I'm talking to. This is like an in and out thing where you guys have separated. It's going to immediately come back together. I feel what the universe is saying right here is this disconnection is it's very, very short lived. And I feel like whoever has been drawn here, you know, that by way of the high priestess, that's that intuition. So what is your advice? Yeah, <laughs> there's that commitment card, Gemini. Wow, look at you guys are awesome. You get the wish fulfillment. So you're going to be happy. The universe is confirming you're going to be happy. And you and this person, I don't know how long you guys have been together, but I do feel like this is a, a long distance read. Y'all are going to be together. This is wish fulfillment. So just keep doing you. The universe is saying keep paying attention to your own fulfillment too. Don't be so drawn to be focused on this person. All right. The commitment and the love, all right, is going to come in. But y'all have to have patience. You need to embody patience when it comes to this. And it's all going to happen in divine timing. All right. And I feel like that's more coming on your person's end. Like, y'all could have been planning to get together. And there could have been a hiccup that happened. And this person just lost it. You know what I mean? They're just like, nah, it, it's not happening. This is not for me. So I'm going to pull initials and this is going to be yours or their first, middle or last. And if you guys don't resonate with the initials, that's okay. As long as you resonate with the meat, um, screw the potatoes, right? We have I, Y, 
F Q T S A and N. All right. So I'm going to leave it right here, Gemini. I love you guys. I truly hope that you guys will um, comment. Let me know who is uh, resonating with this read. Let me know of your progress and come back and tell me how everything is unfolding for you guys. I love you.